Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this amazing video, I am Aditya. In this video, we will see how we can improve our speed of our Next.js website. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so to count the performance, I am going to use Lighthouse which comes with uh, Chrome DevTools. So you might have used it a lot and here we will be only focusing on the performance aspect. We won't be focusing on the SEO and all other aspects. So currently here I have a website done in Next.js, very, very simple website where we have this uh, header, sorry, menu, then this some text image and some content all over like a lot of content. Uh, okay, he, till here. So pretty <laughs> like huge content we have like a lot lengthy content. So this, I have done a lighthouse testing for this and the score is 79. So to do a testing on your website, what I would suggest is when you're doing it uh, for a Next.js website or a Next.js app, make sure you're doing two things. Number one, you're doing a lighthouse test on a production build. So here you see I have run the npm run build command and then I have started npm run start. So it just simulates the production build on your local server. And number two, make it in a incognito mode because in incognito mode, uh, even when you are using normal Chrome uh, without incognito mode, it will show you a message most probably saying that it's best to do this test in incognito mode so that the other plugins and everything, their burden is not added in your score. So just make sure that you are doing it in an incognito mode and also to get a more accurate score and also make sure that you're doing it on a production build because if you do it on a dev build your score will go way below <laughs> because then dev build there are lots of unused scripts and that will just lower your score and it will then uh might give like might confuse you in terms of that oh i'm doing such a nice website and where the things are going wrong <laughs> so just make sure you're doing on a production build and in incognito mode so next thing okay these two are done next we have this website so here i have app bar which is just the component over here, the blue color. And then we have a content like that long lengthy text. And then we have a hero container component which refers to this entire thing. Inside that hero component, we have a menu component which refers to this part over here. And that's it, like pretty simple app. And all this is getting imported on our index.js. So first, let's understand why we have this low score. So if I go over here, it will tell you that largest content full paint and all those things plus it will tell you the uh, original trace map like what's happening wrong here is like the properly sized images. So there's something related to image. So that means we have to do something about this. Okay, that's fine. We've, or the JavaScript that we are getting uh, that's being downloaded. Now here we have a bundle which is index.js. So if I see the size of this, so it says cache from the disk, uh, sorry, disk cache size so about 70 KB. Now we can also try to reduce this size. So let's try one by one, or let's go step by step. So what I'm gonna do first is first, I'm gonna do some code splitting. So what I'm gonna do, this content component has a lot of text. So what I'm gonna do, I'll just lazy load it. And for that, I'll be using next dynamic. So let's import that. And if you have used React before, in React, there is a lazy, uh, like React lazy, where you can dynamically or lazy load the component. In the same way, next you have dynamic, the name goes as it is and you don't need to use suspense you don't need to use any fallback or anything it handles things for you so there we will pass a sort of we'll lazy load this content component the reason i'm doing that because if you see like everything here is displayed that's fine but the content is not in the viewport so we can lazy load it because when the user sees this this thing will be like even if it's lazy loaded anyways there's like fraction of a fraction second of delay that's fine till scroll down the content will be automatically loaded so let's lazy load this content part and also here uh, if you notice this menu this part this thing is like so it's visible when it you toggle it like it's not exactly or how can i say it it's not directly visible so it's hidden but you toggle it so we can also uh, lazy load this part as well. So here I'm gonna go inside the menu component. So this is our that menu, that popover menu. And this hero container here, here is the menu being rendered. So here also we'll lazy load this. Okay, that's great. And save this and let's try to see if we have any performance improvement. So here I'm gonna do npm run build. So to build the chunk again and have the production build again and this will take a bit of time So I'll just skip this part and get back to it when it's ready. Okay, so it's ready now So let's do npm run dev sorry start 
don't do dev <laughs> do start because then start will simulate this production build so let's go over here and in our incognito mode window let's refresh this now here you will see that we have reduced this size a lot so previously it was 70 something kb now it has become 3.5 kb so that's great now let's see if there is any improvement for the lighthouse score so if i go to lighthouse and retest this let's see if there are any so previously the score was 79 let's see what score we get on this uh, run okay we're still getting score of 79 like there are no not a drastic increase improvement like it's just like 0 0.1 0 0.1 here and there gone so let's try to do something with the image now now in this case like next has a very powerful component which is an image component itself so to use that image component you need to make sure if you are using images from third parties or cloud then you need to put their domain in the configuration so next config.js there you need to put images and the domains so that these domains needs to be whitelisted so this is whitelisting of those domains wherever we are fetching images from so that next can load those images now that image is in the hero container so i'll just comment this part of code over here and i will turn on this part of code over here and then I'll import that uh, image component. So let's go over here and let's import it. So it comes from, so I need to import it by myself, no problem. So import image from next image. Okay, and let's see what's the difference here. So here we have the image tag where image tag has its own class name, but on image component for current release, you cannot put class name. You need to wrap it in a div and put that div with a position of relative so that the image this fits in that, like like it fits correctly if you put it relative because by default this is absolute so we also put the layout of fill so that we can give custom height to this or css height classes css classes of height <laughs> to this image so here if you see like i have want this to be something of 72 and so if i go with it it's really going to be like 288 pixel and also on different devices like we can give like a responsive height because in if i don't give layout fill then i have to give here specific width and height which is going to be in pixel and then it's going to be like a static number so to avoid that i'll just put a layout of fill and object fit of cover object position of center just make sure that the image fits correctly it doesn't overflow or something and that's it like nothing else so by default this image will be lazy loaded so let's see what happens now so if i just close this again and do npm run build now let's do npm run start and let's go back over here refresh this and let's now do now this was 79 so let's do now the new test so and there we go boom such a drastic improvement it's like from 79 it become 97 exactly reverse somehow so that's a drastic improvement so as you could see like here it becomes 2.6 so because this image is the like if i go to the network tab to see the actual size of the image so let's compare this image size like currently you'll see it's a webp format and in webp format what it does it it compresses the image size keeping the quality same so it doesn't uh, like doesn't bother the quality of the image it just remove remove the some data from the image and try to make it like keep exactly the same quality and just reduce the size so here you see like the size has become 36.2 kb but if i go back over here and take it back like how it was for the normal one so if i just do with the normal one let's see what's the size so currently we have 36.2 kb with the image component but oh sorry so if i just build it again and let's try again and you'll see it's like around 656 six, kb so where is 32 kb and where is 656 kb like a huge difference so that's why we should use like image component to load these images like it improves the performance a lot so that's all in this video like hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button if you feel this video is worth sharing with your network please do share with your network and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel so see you in the next video till the next time goodbye